Hello, I'm the Pirate Novelist, your captain to the Rough Season Media, and happy Record Store Day. Uh, this is the post-Record Store Day aftermath video. I'm going to go over what I got and just what kind of day I had. I had a really good day today, and I just want to go over how much fun I had this Record Store Day. I've, I've had fun in the past, but this is one of the more fun years that I've had. A pleasure going. Uh, woke up about really early. I think everybody's woke up about early if they're really dedicated to Record Store Day. And if you don't know what Record Store Day is, it's a day to go and celebrate your local independent record stores, uh, the labels, the major labels, and sometimes indie labels, uh, <clears throat> put out special releases, pardon me there, put out special releases. And you go and you basically buy the special releases, but it's to be in the spirit of supporting your local independent record stores. And the stores have to be, the stores have to be not certified, but signed up and on the Record Store Day website, they have which stores were, uh, which stores were eligible or not eligible, the ones who received these um, special pressings and special records. Now, um, not every store gets everything. I had to experience something a little bit that, uh, a little bit with that. But I'll go into that when I go over, which is over here, what I got. But uh, yeah, so sometimes they get like a bunch of things sometimes they get only a certain handful of things so it's really imperative that at least for me let me move this here it's imperative for me there we go uh my suggestion always has been to get there as early as possible so that's kind of what i did i left at who oh boy uh three in the morning and got there and i was third in line uh the two guys in front of me had been there since midnight so i mean this year, a lot of people were disappointed in the list. I thought it was an okay list, um, but it didn't seem like, you know, the door, the door buster thing was there. It's just kind of like, oh, I like this and this and this. Uh, last year was the Dejan Tondu brand new uh, record, and the store that I had gone to, which I'll talk about here in a minute, uh, they had, let me get the jiggle on here so I don't keep swallowing. They had, pardon me. They had only gotten one in, and the guy who had gotten it slept overnight. So, I have yet to see something that uh, will make me sleep, go overnight to, you know, go and grab something from record store day. But, it's coming. I know it's coming. <laughs> anyway, so, um, I live in a beach town, and there are three, three or four major record stores, and there's... One that I always go to because uh, the guy who owns it's really awesome. It's Bottom Days Records and Sound here in uh, Virginia, Virginia Beach. And it's just, you know, the personal touch that they had there. You know, they have a really good selection. They specialize in records only and, you know, sound systems. So I thought that's kind of cool. We have a couple of other ones here, but uh, that's kind of my favorite one is this one. Just because of the personal service that um, I get there and... I really love supporting the store. I have been going for quite a few years. I think this is like my fourth or fifth record store day that I've gone. So, um, yeah. So, I went down there, and I was starting line, and uh, I don't know if this happened at your particular store or whatever stores. We got some free uh, things to pass out. So, I want to show you a couple of those things real quick. Yeah, we got this really cool bag. I know it's a bag, but it says Operator Blue Wave. It looks like it's a... Uh, uh, April 1st, 2016, first run, limited white vinyl. Preview the album and download the exclusive new track, uh, recordstoreday.com. Looks like it's a record that should have come out for Record Store Day. I don't know what it is, but I thought it was just kind of cool, you know, something to add to the collection for Record Store Day. And there is an official Record Store Day bag. I'll show that to you when we get to the end. Um, get to everything I'm going to actually unbox, all the things that I have gone here live on camera so my reaction is just going to be ad hoc just as you see them got two pretty cool pins oh no no don't go down there okay so metallica was the official record store day ambassador uh, there there you can see it so i got this pin here and then i got the discator day i hope i'm pronouncing that right here discator day uh Pin. Um, if you don't know what that is, <clears throat> it's a uh, record store day in conjunction with France. I think France is his disciplinary day. And it's to celebrate um, France and it's in response to, you know, what had happened in France uh, that time ago. I'll go into that, but that was just kind of cool that, you know, 
Totem Pilots, The Doors, and Anthrax did 7 inches. I picked up one of those. Um, oops, what? <laughs> picked up one of those, and I thought it was just kind of cool in the spirit of everything. So, next thing that came with it was a CD, which uh, Record Store Day Universal Music Group, a uh, bunch of cool artists. Uh, let's see. Snarky Puppy, that sounds cool. Cheap Tricks on here, cool. Uh, Lisa Carr, ooh. So, just a uh, bunch of cool artists on this CD. I'm not gonna, well, I, I show them handy dandy this. But, um, yeah. I think it's just kind of cool some of the free stuff that we got with this. So, let me take a look here. I actually got two sets because I had somebody with me, so I'm going to open one and save the other. Oh, cool. Looks like a, it's like a 45. That's cool. Next thing that came in there is set for Blankus Larry Problemo. Uh, weird thing is, no, why do I keep dropping things? Hope that doesn't happen. Weird thing is, the size are F and U. So, uh, don't know what to think about that. But, um, it's very punk. So I'm guessing it's punk. Um, so let me just open this up here. I do have a tape deck. Uh, it doesn't exactly connect up to my turntable and all my sound system, but hope to get that one day to do that. So let me take a look here. So a cool yellow cassette. There's the cool artwork. So put that back here. Yeah, hope everybody had a wonderful work of store day. I know I did, so. Uh, got a bunch of free posters too. I'll show you those real quick. Okay. Uh, Jeff Buckley in Zeppelin. Kind of cool. And then these other two. No, why does everything keep falling behind me? Oh, sorry about that. I got this. It says Don Gilson. I'm hoping I'm not seeing this right, but what caught my eye was. Let's see this here. I'll show you real quick. Just the cool artwork. I thought this was kind of cool. I have to check this out, whoever this is. That's kind of what I like about it, you know. It's, yes, you're supporting your local independent record store with that stuff. But with this kind of thing here, it's like, oh, pardon me. Sorry about that. Oh, I get to uh, get to see who's out there. Uh, speaking of that, uh, this is a well-known name, but The Doors. I didn't pick up a Doors album, but... Uh, Doors piece, but this just caught my eye just because of the just the awesome artwork of it all. And it's on decent cardboard or decent paper, so yeah. 1972. Uh, thought this was just caught my eye and was kind of cool, so it was free poster file. Free poster file. I thought that was cool. And then, if you know, uh, Dogfish Head is the official brew or the official. Beer of Record Store Day, and each year they come out with a poster. So, um, this is this year's 2016 Record Store Day poster. Let me scooch back here so you can see that. Just really cool. I like posters. Um, don't put them up as much as I want to, but I think they're kind of cool. Uh, one more thing that came in here is it's called My Favorite Cover. Uh, it has Ville Valvertine, Fred Armiston, uh, Beastie Boys, Best Coast, Tony Bennett, all these artists, Mick Jones, talking about, well, artists and producers talking about um, their favorite uh, covers of albums. So I pull it out. If you're able to get this, I think this is just kind of cool. Just talking about, because artwork is, artwork is kind of something. It pulls out to this here. And then... Pulls out to this here. I haven't fully read this yet, but uh, after we're done here with this video, while I'm playing, uh, playing all my pieces, I'll definitely take a look at this. All right, now we get to the pieces. But before we do that, I wanted to show you 
bag that comes this year. I don't know if every store got them, but this is the official canvas bag for Record Store Day 2016. Pretty heavy here with what I got. But, um, I thought this is pretty cool. So, yeah, let's get into this. Uh, these will be unboxings. Um, I'm going to save one to the end, but, um, yeah, we'll just get into it. Uh, let's go with the singles real quick. Okay, so I got about one, two, three, four, seven. Yeah, I got seven pieces. So, uh, mixed between one ten inch, a couple of six inches, and a couple of singles. So, you know, we did, I did recently that video for uh, Vinyl Collector James's uh, contest talking about the, um, the songs that make you feel good. And, you know, with the passing of Bowie, it was just so devastating um, to a lot of people. I didn't know his music that much, but let me, let me adjust this here. I mean, I didn't know every single thing, but at the same time, I still had immense respect for his work. So when I found out that a couple of things were coming out for Record Store Day for Dave Bowie, I knew I had to put it on my list. So the first thing I got is, let me adjust how the picture disc for DBC 15. So the A side is TC15, original single edit, and the double A side, which I'll show you in just a second, is Wild, is the Wind, the 2010 Harry Maslin mix single edit. Then my dupe there. I think this is just awesome. I know picture discs aren't the best sounding quality, but I don't have that many, and I knew I wanted to splurge just a little bit with... Uh, picture discs. Um, I'm not going to open it up because it's just sniffing right here, but yeah, I think it's just kind of cool how with this picture disc I can show you everything. Yeah. Okay, let me put this over here. Oh, sorry about that. I'll cut that out. The next thing I picked up, and I'm going to have handy dandy handy dandy knife there, is one of the disc care days. Uh, 21 Pilots, double-sided. Side A is a few older ones, and side B is Doubt. Tracks recorded at the Fox Theater in Oakland, California. Cover design is thespherographic.com. Uh, this is numbered right here with like a stamp. That's just kind of cool. Let me put this next one down here. Open this for you real quick. Okay. This was my number one pick. Uh, I love 21 Pilots. I have all the releases, not every single variant, but every time something 21 Pilots comes out, I know I have to grab it. So let me go ahead and get this open very carefully. Why don't you want to open today? And there we go. Uh -huh. Gonna keep the stickers as best as possible uh, on my turntable. Where I keep my turntable and all my records, I always tend to keep the stickers for everything. So let me pull the, the shrink wrap here real quick. Take this out. Sorry, this is going to be a long video here. But okay, here it is. This the other day. And we'll pull it out. Okay, let me see if there's anything else in here. It is on black vinyl. Look. Cool. Yeah, it's all black vinyl. It's side B, Doubt, and side A, a few older ones. It's really heavy. I think this is on a gram vinyl. It feels heavier than normal vinyl. Uh, well, the normal that I'm used to, so it's kind of cool. Okay, on to the next one.
the next one I got, and this is the one I'm saving for last, is the Mystery Side by Side. Ooh. Didn't get this previous years, but I thought, why not splurge this time and check it out. Uh, everybody in line had a few guesses um, what this was. I thought, well, this is a six pack, so it must be something beer related. So let's we'll save this one for last to unbox it so you can, I can get my genuine reaction on that. Okay, next I'm going to go over the single 10 inch that I got. I uh, really like this band. I've seen them a couple of times and I haven't bought anything on, you know, vinyl of theirs, but I've liked them for a couple of years and thought, well, they're releasing something. Thought I should get it. It's Hailstorm Into the Wild Live Chicago. It's four live tracks Beautiful with You, Freak Like Me, Scream, and I Am the Fire. Uh, Freak Like Me is acoustic. Kind of back on there, we can see. Let me my... I love this picture on the front here. So, let's open her up and see. Apparently, this is on clear. I want to say, but we're about to find out here. Just gonna make it. No, why don't you want to work? Come on. There we go. Nope. There we don't go. Oh, jeez. It's always crazy working with knives. Yeah. There we go. Took it long enough. Oh, I do believe there's a download code in here. That's awesome. Yep, there's a download code in here. I'm not going to show it. But here, I'll cover it up. Download code. Oh, this is 33 RPM. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. This is beautiful. Oh, man. This is like a splatter gold. I can't tell. It's a little hard. There. Like, here, I'll put it in the light. Oh, that is too awesome. I cannot wait to play this, but oh my gosh, this is absolutely surprising and awesome. Let me check something out. Oh my gosh, this is too cool. Be very careful with that, but wow. Well, I'm very surprised with that. That is too cool. All right, let's move on. Let's move on to the next one. Wow, <laughs> that's uh, pretty surprising. I hope the uh, the side by side is just as surprising. Wow, that is too 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 awesome. I'm so glad I got this. Next three are the 12 inches. Uh, I talked earlier about Bowie, so let's, uh, I got the other two, so let's go with this one. Uh, 1966, the 50th anniversary PYE years, or the PYE singles on one LP. It has, I'm not losing sleep, I dig everything. Can't help thinking about me, do anything you say, good morning girl, and I say to myself. Back there. Hmm. Let's take a look at what color it is. Uh, not that it matters what color it is, I'm still going to love it. Okay, let's push this. Uh, I definitely say, while there were good and bad releases, uh, not bad releases this year, um, I thought it was good. I didn't get absolutely everything on my list. Um, if you know me with my icon, I am a huge Whovian. Uh, James knows that, about a collector James, but um, I really wanted the, the Doctor Who, there were two Doctor Who releases from what I heard, but I wanted the Genesis of the Daleks, and they didn't have any, 
uh, back when I was looking for it, they snatched it up real quick. So I subbed something else, which is coming instead for that. So even though I didn't absolutely get it, I'm still happy with everything I got. So let's check this here. Okay. So this is on uh, just standard black vinyl. I love the inner... Oh, yeah, standard black. But I love the um, inner labels here. I think it's pretty cool. So let me check. Is there any download codes? Nope. That's cool. I don't mind listening to Bowie on exclusively vinyl. That is okay with me. Let me put this back in here. Okay. Moving on. Uh, the next thing I got is the other picture disc that came out. The Man Who Sold the World, David Bowie. This here is the German artwork for The Man Who Sold the World. Uh, this obviously has The Man Who Sold the World, but it's the full album here. Unlike the other single, I have not seen what's on the B side. So, I'm going to go ahead and carefully open this. I think it's just going to... Hoping it just peels up and I don't need this. Yeah, well, it'll peel up. There we go. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing this. So here's the A side. Here's the awesome B side. Though the placement of where it is on his nose is kind of a little hysterical there. That's awesome. Like I said earlier, I splurge on uh, picture discs very rarely, but this one called my name. Okay, the last one I'm going to show you is the one that I substituted for uh, the day, uh, the, not day, but the Doctor Who. I have a lot of similar things there. Uh, I kind of want, I was thinking maybe the churches, or I saw this one. I was either the churches or I saw this one. And I just grabbed it out of gut instinct, and I'm glad I did. This is KEXP Presents Raw Power, a tribute to Iggy and the Stooges, live from the rooftop of Pike Place Market, August 23rd, 2015. Um, I had originally seen this put on my list because it's Mike McCready's on this from Pearl Jam, and I am seeing them on Monday, so I'm very excited, so I thought this is kind of cool just to, to have to kind of go along with and get me ready for the concert. This has Little Doll TBI, I got it right, I need somebody down on the street, search and destroy and lose. It says proceeds from this sale, proceeds of this album will benefit KEXP, and it looks like it's got fake wear here a little bit. I just like this back. This is cool. Let's open her up and see what's inside. Shall we? Here we go. Cannot wait to go play these. Go get my digital download, but go play these after this video. I'll be probably listening to it while I edit this video. Alright. No stickers on this one, so I can just toss that. Okay. It's on a... It's on just a little heavier cardboard, which I think is cool. Oh, cool. Barrett Martin, Duff McKagan, Mike McCready, and Mark Arm. Love the guard. Look at this. This is just awesome. Look at that. Look at that inner sleeve. Look, oh man. And this is on standard block. But I always like to look at the labels, so. Cool. One side's this. Just the crowd earlier. What side's that? That's awesome. Yeah. Too awesome. Can't wait to go listen. This is pretty thick, heavy cardboard. I like it. Keeps it safe. And then, oh yeah, I just barely even noticed 
just barely noticed this. The wear is actually here also. So it kind of makes it look like it's been, you know, sitting in you, sitting in a bin for a while. A little bit of love and wear. I'm saying that wear is a bad thing if you keep your records safe, but it's kind of cool. All right, the final thing we're doing is here. The mystery side by side. So there were a couple people thinking maybe it might be Metallica, it could be Misfits. I initially thought maybe it would be Doors or George Thorogood, just because of the the beer here. So without further ado, let's open this up and see what it is. Now I always know that they're colored. Sometimes I think they're colored, but you never know. I don't mind it being black. I honestly don't mind what color a record is, as long as I like the music or like something about it. Okay. There we go. And we are open. Also, I love collecting these Record Store Day stickers. Record Store Day exclusive. I like to put them on put them on the side of my um side where I keep my turntable and everything. Okay. Now that we're out, it's here. Three, two, one, and Rocket Reducer number 65, Rama Lama Fa Fa MC5. Melvin's Rocket Reducer number 62. Oh, cool. It's the Melvin's. And it's on a ooh, red split. Okay, cool. Had no idea what it was going in, but. I'm kind of happy. Um, I think it was, if you watch Bull Moose's video, they talk about the Frank piece. Never heard of the guy, but every year I at least try to do something like that. And don't normally buy the uh, the split. Uh, not, I wouldn't say I wouldn't buy the split. I almost bought the Echo Smith. Yeah. I almost bought the Echo Smith, but I think this is cool. That um, took kind of a risk. Not something I normally buy, but it's cool. It's the Melvins. And MC5. Uh, the MC5 was recorded in the ballroom Detroit in 1969. And this one was 96 for the Melvins. Very interesting. Can't wait to drop this and see what this is. I honestly don't know what this is, and I think that's kind of cool. Okay. Oh, wait. One says Atlantic, one says Electra. Oh, this is kind of cool. Anyway, let's put this away. No, 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 no. Yeah. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I am very happy with everything that I got. Not a complaint here. Uh, what did you get for Record Store Day? You know, let me know in the comments. Um, I'd love to hear what everybody's got, what they liked, what they didn't like. Uh, I know there'll be other videos out there, so I can't wait to see that. I can't wait to see what Model Collector James does with his. So, uh, anyway, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Um, got a lot of stuff I can go listen to now. And uh, I'm the Pirate Nautilus. And always remember, keep on sailing. And when the water is rough, keep forward and keep true and things will be all right.